God has blessed you with the book. Amen. You're able to bless people mm -hmm. from your writing. Yes. You're able to get healed because you were so transparent yes. in yourself. Mm -hmm. Brings you to your conference. Amen, your amen. Your first and conference. Amen. <laughs> Talk to us about your impact and influence at the conference. Well, you know what? I'm really, really excited about this. Let me tell you, God has uh, put on my heart to do this event, and I'm amazed that when he put it on my heart, the people that he started bringing to be a part of this. And we have nine dynamic authors that's coming on board, coming from all around the world, uh, or all around the country, coming from California, from Texas, from North Carolina, from Georgia, from Alabama, just around to do this conference. And again, it's called the First Annual Impact and Influence Authors Conference. Now, we, when we think of an authors conference, you think of people who write and you're just going to buy books and to mm -hmm. be blessed by those books. But really, it's, it's a dynamic and unique type of conference. It's designed to impact and influence people's lives for positive change through Christ Jesus. So even though we're bringing together authors, it's a, you know much, much more than that. It's an event that's going to be held at the Marriott in Atlanta, Buckhead, Atlanta area. Mm -hmm. uh, it's September 9th through the 11th. And uh, we have authors uh, like Donna Stallworth, one of my really, really good friends out of California. She wrote a book called From Prep. And then a second book called To Pro, from the, through the eyes of an NFL mom. Now this book is designed for people who have kids that aspire to be uh, into any type of sports, whether it's basketball or mm -hmm. football. And I love her book because it really, really, I read it and I have girls, I have five daughters. And I don't have boys, so I didn't really get into the sport thing. But you know what, her book is so well written that when I read it, I had an understanding of how to do for my child if I had a child that age. So mm -hmm. it's really, really a great book. We have Lisa Hasha coming from California as well. and Lisa. I'm really excited to have her as well because she is a woman who has a therapy uh, a, a therapy practice there in California. She actually does a lot of the therapy for the major producers and actors and directors in California. But not only does she do, do that, she goes around the world uh, doing a children's ministry to help impoverished children. She'll go to Cairo, Tanzania, and all those places to be a blessing to those kids. So the people that, like I said, God is bringing on board, they not only write books to help you, but they write books that are going to benefit and, and, and make a positive change in your life for you and your family. Uh, we have Felicia Young. She's another NFL mom. Love Felicia. Very down to earth. You guys are going to love her when she comes here. Hopefully we'll get some of the authors to come back on the show. Uh, they'll arrive next week. But Felicia wrote a book called Touchdown from Heaven. Now, Felicia Young is uh, Vince Young's mom. She's an NFL mom, too. And so her book depicts her uh, story of, you know, being into, you know, living, uh, being out on the street and doing drugs and, you know, alcohol and all that, but how God changed her and brought her into being a wonderful woman of God mm -hmm. with a ministry to go out and help people in the prison system. She goes out and does a street ministry, doing awesome work in Texas. So excited about her work and what she does. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Laura Blackman. Now, Laura is right here from Georgia. Mm -hmm. Laura wrote a book called Suffering in Silence. And this book deals with dealing with abortion because she had an abortion and she went through such con con condemnation. You know, God mm -hmm. wants us to be convicted from our sins, as you two know. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't want us to condemn ourselves. So her book helps women who have been through something like that. And not only if you've been through something like that, but just going through life mm -hmm. of how to get over condemnation and understand that God wants us to be convicted and not repeat our sins, but, but he doesn't want us to punish ourselves. Right. Because we both know that once you give it to God and you ask for forgiveness, it's in the sea of forget forgetfulness. Forgiveness, so, that's it. You know, and so her book is awesome as well. And she's right here from Georgia. Uh, we have LaQuinta Pollard. Now I love LaQuinta because she is a young lady who keeps me laughing. She's uh, always bubbly. And always, she says, rambling on. But what God did with her rambling is when she would write down the little thoughts she had, he put together a book for her called Ramblings of Wisdom. And her book really <laughs> inspires people. It's just little thoughts, little nuggets she had that blessed her life, and it's been blessing a lot of people's lives. And uh, also, let me see, oh, Emmett Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Emmett Mitchell is a dynamic author from Michigan. He wrote a book on uh, called Game on Consignment. Now, with his book, it's really, really written, I think, that really blesses young men, 
especially after the African American community, but it's designed to help us to get over ignorance and poverty and feel, you know, be led into what God is saying for us to do in our life. Mm -hmm. And then my, my really, really good friend that's like a brother to me, Minister Paul Burt, he's an actor, he's a writer, he's an evangelist, he's a prophet, but he is also coming, his book is called Why Me, Lord, Why Me? And he had visions ever since he was a child that God had given him, and he's utilized uh, the gift that he has to be a blessing to many people as well. Wow. So many, many dynamic authors coming on board. I hope I didn't forget anybody <laughs> in there. I'm just trying to get everyone in. Of course, yours truly, I will be there. Uh, we have Dr. Dana Davis coming. He wrote a book called uh, um, uh, King, uh, about the kingdom. Oh, God, I can't believe I messed that up. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I think you're doing kingdom, okay. about kingdom living and so yeah. I love him because he really helps you understand where God wants us to be right now in our life in this earth and the blessings that we need to walk in right now now with the conference too we do have an elegant dinner on Saturday night we have a networking event on Friday night and then we have a healing and deliverance service now mm -hmm. I know you say why do they have a healing and deliverance service no I, I mean you know conference? with that it you know it would it would be great where is it because we have about 30 seconds left it is at the Marriott in Buckhead Atlanta the Marriott Hotel and Conference Center and uh, I'm sure they're going to show the address across the screen okay. but that's on Lenox Road okay. and again that's September 9th through the 11th if you want to have more information go to impact and influence.net Everything is there for you, all the information about our authors yes. and everything about the conference. But I love you and I hope to see you there. Also, if you call us, I am doing a special. You may get a chance to come to the conference free. So give us a call at 678-667-2311. And you may have an opportunity to be a part of this for free. Keyword, free. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you for uh, talking to the viewers Amen. about your conference, your thank you. book. And, uh, yeah. We're, I'm excited, and we're praying that God will continue to bless you Amen. in all of your endeavors. And Amen. I thank God for what he's doing with the two of you, a beautiful Amen. couple, been doing this for three years now, and being a blessing to everyone on the air. So keep on doing the great work that you're doing in the ministry as well. Thank